Welcome to my video on how to make potassium nitrate and sugar rockets. Start off with a sheet of 330 second thick balsa, give it a light coat of paint, sand it off, give it another coat of paint, sand it off again. This should leave you with a fairly smooth surface. Whenever I threw one, I'd always hear mom say, back straight. well ventilated area, use some medium sandpaper and sand each of the fins carefully to get a nice rounded leading edges as you can see here this greatly improves the aerodynamic performance of the rocket when you've done all the fins then take some 21.5mm PVC pipe, cut it to 9.5cm lengths and mark 1.5cm from each end as shown. Then get some cat litter, make sure it's the stuff that's made of clay, not recycled paper, as they just won't work. This bag will last for years of rocket making. I then grind up the clay in a coffee grinder to get it to a fine powder. This is much easier to compress and makes a much stronger seal at the end of the pipes. I do the same with the potassium nitrate and sugar in a mix of 65% potassium nitrate to 35% sugar. Grind up the sugar first to a fine powder, add the potassium nitrate and grind that further to make sure it's powdered and well mixed. Then you're ready with all your rocket tubes cut. Use a template like this one to get the fin alignment of the rockets. Stand the tube on the template. You can get it centered quite easily by looking down the center of the tube. And then mark the f alignment of each of the fins. These are some of the other tools. You can see there's two large bolts which are a perfect fit for the tube. These I'll then use to compress the clay and the potassium nitrate sugar mix. To make the nose cones, I just use a roll of masking tape, cut round it on some brown paper. Cut the circles of brown paper out. Fold them in half one way to get a nice crease. Then fold them in half exactly the opposite way. This will mark the centre of the circle. use a pair of scissors to cut from one of the edges just past the centre of the circle. This helps with rolling the nose cone. Then take the brown paper circle you've cut out 
I found that roughly a quarter of the segment is ideal to be the circumference of the rocket tube. Bit of trial and error required to get that right. I use spray mount to spray on the non-shiny side of the brown paper and then I roll it up into the cone carefully and that's the finished product. Using a piece of angle metal which pressed against the tube means that if, as long as the angle is correct it will draw a perfectly straight line perpendicular up the length of the tube. So I do this on each of the three points that we marked as the fin locations. If the metal's true then this will give us perfectly vertical alignment for the fins. Next in an outdoor area I use the bolt which is marked with tape to give me a guide as to the right depth. Remember the one and a half centimetres that we marked. And then bit by bit pour the powdered cat letter into the tube and give it a good hammer in to make sure it's compressed. If you do it too lightly then the plug will just blow out when the rocket launches. be quite vigorous with this, it'll take a lot of force for the clay to actually split the pipe, so just make sure it's good and solid. And then you can see I've got the clay to the right depth, giving me a one and a half centimetre plug at the end of the rocket. And that plug by the way is done at the opposite end to the end we marked for the fin alignment. So that is the nose of the rocket. And then follow the same procedure with the potassium nitrate and sugar mix. Filling the tube a little bit at a time. You don't want to put too much in at once. Otherwise you can end up with air pockets or not compress it properly. So just do about a centimetre at a time. Gently press it down first with the tool, in this case the bolt, to give it a slight compression so that when you start hammering it doesn't spray the mixture in your face. And then again, give it a good firm compression. The more we can compress the fuel in the tube, the more fuel you can get in and therefore the better the rocket will be. This also eliminates the air pockets which as I say can turn the rocket into more of a pipe bomb. This is probably the longest part of making the rocket but it's well worth spending the time to do it carefully. So that's the tube filled up to the one and a half centimetre from the end mark, which you check by inserting the tool it against the side of the tube to check you've got the right depth that leaves one and a half centimeters for the final plug which will also form the nozzle 